So this is the CAF website, Climate Action 5 website. And if you go to projects, all the information about what basically the sorts of things that we're involved in are on this one here um, on activity seven. And if you go to here, it's got mapping five trees and woods. So um, hopefully that's come up OK. Has that come up? Maybe just need to verbally say that's come up because I can't see you now. Sorry. If someone just wants to let me know that that's come up. Yes, it has. Yeah, it has Great. Up. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Right, wonderful. So this is basically the, the page to go to. It's got the links for you then to put on. So this is the, the map that's embedded on the website. You can't do anything to that. Don't worry. That's just about showing what it is and all the information that's collated. You can have a look at it and start navigating it. So you can go into this. So and you can scroll into an area and see what kind of things have been put in. So it's all on these icons. And then you should be able to click on it and it tells you a little bit of information about it. Um, and I will tell you what these icons all stand for. OK, so you can navigate from this page around the map so you can move it to your area. So let's go. What have we got? We've got uh, Strathkinnis. I bet you there's nothing up there. Let's have a look. Cooper's got quite a lot. Um, and there's obviously um, Lucas there, just who's managed to input information so far. Um, so we've got Newborough. Here we go. Let's see. We've obviously got um, Andrew on the call here. We've got Monksville, Woodland and Glebe on here that the Church of Scotland have put on. Um, so I think I had put on Strathkinnis, Bob. Um, but this is Strathmigo. Sorry, let's go up this way. Godbridge, Lucas. Uh, I didn't have a look and I, I couldn't see anything. Yeah, um, OK, no, that's fine. So this is basically, you know, this is open now to anyone across five community members, anyone to put their their pins on here. So, um, yes, yeah, so Bob, this is obviously an opportunity to to do that. Um, so this one is about highlighting um, special trees. So. Judy, I know we're already looking at ancient trees on the ancient tree inventory, so we're not trying to reproduce that. Um, because obviously that's a very special data set, um, but we could put ancient trees on here or base. But basically, this is any special trees, uh, any trees that are special to the community. So that could be a single tree on a street. It could be um, a woodland area that people like or a copse of trees. It doesn't matter if it's big or small. It's just something that communities um, recognise as special in their area. And part of this is trying to build up this knowledge from communities and engagement with communities, but also just to help us to protect those trees as well. So that if a tree is not on the ancient tree inventory and it's just out there, it has absolutely no protection whatsoever, really, unless it's got a TPO um, or it's a conservation area. Um, so what we're trying to do is tell the story that these trees are valuable and and um, and are loved by communities. Um, so, you know, by putting those trees on there, hopefully it uh, helps with its protection to some degree. It has carries absolutely no weight in planning, but um, it's something I want the planning team to start looking at a bit more. So you can go in. So this is the let's just see if this works. It might take a little bit of time to load. I should have done that while I was talking. Right. OK. Has this come up live? Can you see this is loaded as a page? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so great. OK, so it's got special trees and woods. So you can go by your address, so you could click address and you could put the address in or you can choose manually on the map. This is where you to put your to your thing. So let's um, tell me an address someone. Let's think of a um, well, should we do Strathkinnis actually? So we do Strathkinnis Wood there. Um, I bet you it won't come yeah, up sure. as Magnus Muir. I don't think yeah, it will Magnus come up. Muir. Um, I, I couldn't see any. It's not marked at the moment, is it? No, I don't think so. Um, no, I did although, have a look. So, it's, so this is a um, international map. So you can see searching on Magnus Muir has come up with a really interesting place in France, which has nothing to do with five. So uh, you might just have to hone it down a little bit. So let's look at Strathkinnis um, and see if it gives us anything. Have I spelt that right? Yeah. OK, if not, sorry, it's not likely Strathkinnis, Andrews. Choose the next biggest place and we will then. We will then search for it manually. OK, yeah. so we come out from St Andrews and we go along. There's never Strathkinnis. So here's Strathkinnis. Are we here? This would be. 
So we have to yeah. move this. Yeah. So that would be yeah. Magnus Muir there. Yeah. Uh, that, that's it. Yeah. OK. That, so that, is that OK? Yeah. You're happy with that? Yeah. You're on the right, the, the correct side of the road. Yeah. 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 So we can save this pin to location now. OK. And then yeah. what we can do is enter the name of your special tree, wood or forest. So is it Magnus Muir? Yes. Community Woodland Group? Is that how we call it? Or Magnus um, Muir Woods? What's its? Oh, it, it, it's actually Magus, M-A-G-U-S. One S, that yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. And um, Woods, should I just put Woods, is that? Yeah. Yeah, OK, and then uh, should I put Manage by, what's the community group that do that? Uh, Struck in as Community Trust. So you can put a lot more information in here yeah, um, sure. about accessibility or why it's special. You can add yeah. a picture and then you can submit it. Oh, yeah. OK, good. OK, so yeah. now what happens is that that has gone to um, has gone to a sort of uh, the back of the website and it has to be approved. So it won't automatically appear no. on the map. OK, um, so don't panic. Um, you know, pop the information in and obviously let me know if, if it's not appeared in a couple of days, because what would happen is I get emailed as the map maker and then I authorise that it goes on to the website. And now, um, Angela, you said you're a little bit nervous about using this as a tool. So I suppose in a way that safeguards really and that um, my role is to make sure that we're not putting on their extraneous information or anything that was inappropriate or things like that. So yeah. there's a little bit of a checking yeah. system there. So so that's how we would and you could do that for a single tree on your street or an area of woodland or an ancient or veteran tree that wasn't on the map or, or anything really that's special. Um, and you could invite your community members to to look at that as well. Um, so I will show you the other ones. So if we go back to Climate Action 5 website. OK, so that was this one here, five special trees and woods that I've just showed, taken you on a tour of. Then we've also got this one, which is tree and hedge planting map. OK, and this is where we can um, helpfully identify. So one, you could put on a, an icon on the map if you've planted trees, or you can also use this to identify some, somewhere that might be improved by planting. OK, so I'll take you there. And I'll show you what this looks like. So same kind of format, you can choose it by address or choose it manually on the map or you can use your current location if you've got your location turned on. Um, and the same kind of thing, you would give it a name for the site. So you would like, um, yeah, put the pin on the map. So let's just do one. Um, anyone got any ideas of where would be a nice place to plant some more trees? Anywhere you'd like to tell me that we could go to? Anything you've there's, got in mind? Yeah, it, it's not a huge area, but there's an area between um, Newborough Cemetery and the road where I think it would be nice to have a hedge or some trees because a lot of the floral tributes get blown onto the road whenever there's a windy day. So okay, a nice windbreak apart from anything else. So that's at the east end of Newborough. Right. That's so if I put, let's put Newborough in. I bet uh, Newborough flag. <laughs> <laughs> Come up with a. <laughs> OK, here we are. Right. Getting closer. So you can yeah. use this address and then you can go into the map and then you can kind of cite this icon by moving the map. See how I'm moving that with just with yeah. my mouse. So just direct me. So I'm at the high street here. Yeah. So you're heading east um, now. So to to the right on the map, I think. Is that the cemetery there? Can you see that? Um, once we you come out of Libra, we'll so pass, go in a little bit closer pass, if that's easier. Yeah. I think it's on, I think the cemetery is on there. Yes, it's got a little cross here. I can see yeah, that with a the cross there. So, so so that really, that green bit that borders the, the road, I, there are a few trees there, but there's a lot of gaps and I think we could put some trees or something in there. OK, fantastic. So I'll save the um, pin to location. OK. Yeah. I did right. mention this before, but had quite a lot of backlash on it, but I don't still don't think it's a bad idea. OK, um, great. And I think <laughs> all this is doing in terms of actually putting it on this map, it's mm -hmm. just it's just identifying that there is an interest from a community member. It's not saying it's going to be planted yeah. or yeah. that it's appropriate for planting either. Um, it's just it's a, a kind of a, an indication of interest uh, yeah. for a site. Um, 
so I mean that's obviously something we need to help communicate to people as well because otherwise people are going what about all this tree planting that's going to happen here and you know could get quite concerned it's it's potential um so please enter the name of the site so what would you call this one I think it would be Newborough Cemetery and maybe Newborough Cemetery border or something like that just to make it clear that it's not can you help me? I'm dyslexic. How do we spell cemetery? Uh, cemetery. So it's C E M E T E R Y. Lovely. Thank you. That's perfect. Uh, yes. Wonderful. Is Please the cemetery. Us... Sorry, is the cemetery further along on the bend on the road, or is yes, there it another is. one? Yes, you can, you can see it on the map. Yeah. So, yeah. Have I not can... spot? Have I not done it properly? No, I think you're actually on the church. Oh, um, okay. So cemetery, let's have a look. So past where the little blocks that says A nine one three. Yeah, and then you can see a kind of green shape. This, yeah, that's it. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. And it's the so, gap between that and the yeah, the and road. The road. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's just nice. that perfect. Yeah, that's, that's right. Nice. Okay, and that's coming out. Where's um the Lindor's farm? The farm up here with the fruit tree plantings up here, isn't it? On this going up that way. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I know where I am as well. Well done, Ben. Thank you. Uh, otherwise, there'd be like a particular pushback from that one, wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 um, so Newborough Cemetery border um, yeah. and then is there anything you would like to put in here uh, opportunity for planting you could put um, yeah I think opportunity potential for, yeah 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 for hedge, yeah um, you said. Plant, yeah planting hedge or tr or small trees I think and you said something to stop well I, I think for 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 privacy and to to stop floral tributes being lost you know because they they do blow right across the road which is a shame so i think this is also a really nice thing to add in here about a reason why you're thinking about the planting so some of the sites that we've identified in other communities it's because of flooding yeah. or it's noise pollution or it's you know or it's specifically to, to connect up a wildlife corridor Th yeah. those sort of things are really helpful yeah yeah i think also another good reason is just for privacy because it's really okay. open to the road at the moment and people are going there for very personal reasons so yeah okay yeah. i think that's a lovely um okay so you can put i mean you can basically put anything in this it doesn't mm -hmm. yeah and then you've got the three icons here mm -hmm. So what we would want, so they are all automatically clicked. Mm -hmm. So you would just want to have a potential here, potential yeah, to plant. So. so it's amber. It's on a traffic light system. But for anyone that's colorblind, it's also got the symbols in there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously this is unsuitable for tree planting um, and yeah, potential. And then this is this one here in the green is to say the actual tree planting has happened. Mm -hmm. So you could use this same tree and hedge campaign the link that we went to if you so I know Strathkinis you've done quite a lot of tree planting recently you could put a pin on the map to say we have done tree planting in this area and you would just click this um, tree planting icon and you would just say up here planted such and such number of trees in when, whenever it was um, and yeah give it a give it a name now it's um, so so I'll just finish this so we've got that you could add a picture if you needed to but and then you can submit OK, and again, that has done exactly the same It has put that map in the back of the system, that request for that icon to go on the map. And then that needs for my approval or any other map maker on this system to say, yes, that's fine. And it will then be uploaded and it will be appear. So as I say, don't worry if you don't see your pin automatically um, on the map, because it takes a bit of time for it to come through to me and also for it to, to for me to approve it anyway. So. Um, so those were the ones I wanted to show you. There is also um, a fruit tree campaign. So on this same mapping page on the CAF website, so just so you're not lost, it was the same place, mapping Fife's Trees and Woods. There's also this fruit tree map as well. And um, it works on the same principle that there is a fruit tree map and you can put your fruit trees on. So if you've already got fruit trees in your garden, you can put this on the fruit tree map. So again, it's the same system. You go on to this, click on here, and you've just got a slightly different icon set to choose from. So again, you would choose by address and locate it using the pin as we as we as we did. Um, give your fruit tree a name, example, Rowan's cherry tree, um, a short description, maybe the cultivar if you know it, because that's quite helpful for us to know in terms of climate resilience. Um, and then there is here um, an icon for the list for what type of fruit tree is, whether it's cherry, plum, apple, pear, and um, plum or 
or other fruit bush. Um, and then again, that is an uh, submit, and then that goes on to a separate map, um, which we could see from here, which is our scanning, because it looks like we've got lots of fruit trees in the sea, which is not the case. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as you, you need to just scan in to see. Um, and what's really lovely is we also have this symbol here, which my colleague in the Climate Action 5 team puts on, which is the community garden symbol. Mm -hmm. And there is also an orchard symbol, this one here. So if you have some orchards that you would like to have on the map, please uh, let me know. I can. Um, it's my colleague Gillian Fife, who's leading on climate friendly gardens, who is able to put that on this fruit tree map. Otherwise, you can just put your individual trees. So if you've got fruit trees already in your garden, guys, you can you can put that on the map. Or if you part of the fruit tree campaign this year and you're hoping to get a fruit tree for your garden, then you can put it on the map once you've got it planted. So um, so those are what we're doing there. And the, I suppose the reason I'll just stop sharing there and come back on. Um, the reason we're trying to we're using these maps is mainly as a 